Previously, things started to fall apart. You have managed to alienate every single person and wipe that smirk off your face. <laughs> He's mean. Be very careful. Don't cross. Do not cross. Okay, don't tell me what to do. It's like prison. I just can't stay in here. Tonight, it all kicks off. Of shit. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get stabbed. You stinking French slut! I'm gonna ruin your life if you help me. It's a Frenchy show! Leslie, you must now decide which housemates to send to the celebrity scrap heap. Frenchy and Gary. What a nightmare. Well, at least the two freakos are in there together. If you take the piss out of me, you're gonna see a response. What are you gonna do? Well, do it and see. Don't threaten me, because I ain't scared of you. Decide the name of the third housemate to be sent to the scrap heap. Kelly. Take okay. your hands, take your hands off me. You point, you, you point hold me, me you to point a it. point. You I'd like to go home, please. This is beyond anything I've ever been through. Dear. 5, 8, 11 a.m. Kelly is meditating in the pod. Most of the other housemates are asleep in the bedroom, apart from Frenchie. Could you just quiet down with this bad zipping, please? Love. You guys, last night came here and did some noise. I didn't complain, okay? So leave me alone. Oh, it's loud. I don't care. I'm gonna be loud, loud, loud! Loud, 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 loud! Loud, loud, loud! Leave me alone. Just trying to get your booty product, okay? You fucking idiot. Think as I don't. Don't fucking play games with me, girl, because you don't know your okay. fucking words. Shut the fuck up. Oh, can you take them outside? Yeah, yeah. Well, because I have five pencil stuff. I have so much stuff, I can move it out. It's raining it outside. Yeah, but there's 12 people. Okay, but I don't care right now. I'm just, I was just trying, like, technically, if you didn't say nothing, I would have Get the fuck oh, out of here. Please stop, stop, stop. Please. Get the I'm fuck not. out of here. I'm not. I am not getting the fuck with that, with that. You want me to be out and wake you up for real? I will. Get the fuck no, out of here. Frenchy, you're so out of line. The more you tell me to do something, the less I'm gonna do it. That's one of you and twelve of us. I don't you give a fuck. That's the story. I don't care. I'm Frenchy. I don't need nobody. Mm. Do you understand that? So out of line. I don't care. So I don't don't care. care. You are like. Just leave me alone so I can go take a bath. Take it with you. Babe, I have five suitcases. Well, take it all with you. Out. You're like a fucking little pack rat. That's I why I couldn't live with you. because I don't give a fuck, bitch. I didn't even know where you were, so shut the fuck up. And, and does anybody know who Never, you are? Never. Oh, yeah, I'm all over the place because all I have to do You're is get naked. It's really easy. You're a fucking tired whore is what you are. So shut up, bitch. At least I'm getting paid for it. I'm an expensive whore. Okay, shh, please, I just need two more I'm gonna get Big Brother to get you a kennel to sleep outside like a dog. <laughs> I don't think so. Like. Actually, my dog sleeps in my bed, so no. The dog should not be outside. This me. is Big Brother. Oh. Your dog with Frenchie come to the diary room. Frenchie come yeah. to the diary room. I will if I feel like it. Do you understand oh, that? Yeah. Go on, keep saying that. You see that. what we go through? Don't go to the diary room. Don't I'm not go. talking to you, I'm talking to no, Leslie. I'm talking to you. And don't. I'm not talking to Big yeah, Brother. Exactly. Don't, don't go to the diary room, room, see what happens. I will. Good. <laughs> you got a bit of underboob as well, by the way. Yeah, I love my boobs, actually. Woohoo! Now you saw them. You weren't much. I have to shit off. I've got too much money on them. I know, they didn't work. Nor did I, love it. Yeah. I love it, I love it. I fabulous, bitch. Oh dear, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> wow. Wow. The shit. Steady on. Morning, Frenchie. Good morning. Big Brother thought Big Brother would call you to chat and see how you are. Well, I'm trying to take a bath, actually. That's what I was trying to do. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, 
I was just in a room trying to look for my beauty product because that's where they are located. Because, you know, our stuff is all over the place. And uh, that's it. Like, James says something and then I show them what loud Frenchie was! I don't think they've seen the crazy Frenchie one. Like, so far, all they've seen is the chill Frenchie. If you try to screw me over, I'm gonna ruin your life if you hurt me and you bother me. If you wanna aggress me for no reason. And the other thing is, nobody can tell me what to do because if I decide something, I go with it and I stick with it forever. I do not care what you're gonna think or say. So, keep talking shit about me. It will make me famous. Free PR. Thank you. Nine or one a.m. Frenchie has had her bath. James is talking to Edel about Frenchie. I've got to have a word with her. Yep, I've got to have a word with her because everyone's going to fly if I don't. She's just going to have to breathe and find a place of calm or something. I feel like it's going to be a naked day today. I don't know why. What's going on with you? I think it's going to be a naked day for me today. A naked day? Yeah, like baths. Like, like if I was in a spa kind of, like relaxing. What's going on? Nothing, baby. Like I just think like... Because I'm just, we'll always talk to you no matter what happens with anybody else. I'm being very flexible with everyone. And nobody is with me. And it's not fair. That's not how I just mean. think, because everybody was asleep. I was just... not being loud. That's what I'm trying to say. That's yeah, you were doing your crazy. zipper. I was just trying to find myself. But I just think we all, what we all have to do is because there's so many of us. Yeah. And some of us are allowed, but then when somebody says something about it, we just have to, we've got to try and fit in or respect it. So where you got an, a bit of negative energy, but then you took that tempo and snowball. Yeah, because he's rubbing on me and then he's making me insane. But, the, but that's where you have to take responsibility to that and try to do something with it. Right. Frenchie is the topic of conversation in the bedroom. She has got a selfish approach to life. Yeah, massively. Yeah. She's never had to mix with any normal people. She's never had to do nothing for herself. It's a sad, it's a sad life when you think about it. Yeah. Because we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've had to do things for ourselves. No, that's a damaged human being. There's something really damaged. Sorry. She's damaged. Something. And I thought you were damaged. No, I'm damaged goods, but I've... <laughs> I've, I've it's I've, a difference. It's a big difference. That was good. Well, on. No, here's the difference. Well, on. I've been, I've been through a lot of what she's been through, but I rose above. She's just... God, it's like this wall. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Ten or nine a.m. D and Ricky are talking about Kelly. God, I'm glad Kelly's all right this morning. Like, oh yeah. I thought last night I was like, mm. it's, so I think she was probably about that far away from no, just going last yeah. night. Yeah. I think in a funny way as well. It's kind of strange because we're a complete set of strangers and we've yeah. all accepted her. Yeah. Because we just accept her as Kelly. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? And. It's, she probably finds that weird as well because she was probably expecting, you know, some confrontation or someone to like not get on with her or not accept a kind of thing. You know what yeah. I mean? It's you get it from like both ends, don't you? It's it was, it was fresh though, wasn't it? It was only last week that um, I can't believe it. Yeah, to that and then coming to the house full of people you don't know. I mean, she did say like she thought. It was too quick. And I probably think it was a bit too quick, but, 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 but like she's can, done it now. Yeah, can make you strong and do you know what I mean? Yeah, she's done it now, bless her. Kelly has come to talk to Big Brother. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? I'm a, yeah, a lot better, thank you. A lot more cheerful. Thankfully that dark cloud has gone off over my head. I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. I was. I woke up, from the minute I woke up, I knew it was going to be a bad day for me. It lasted all day. I mean, I'm just so glad that I didn't touch a drop of alcohol last night. And I just, and, and you know what, the housemates were great. They were all fantastic and really helped me, pull me through it. It's nice to feel like you've got some support in the house. Big Brother's really pleased to hear that. They are, they're a nice, nice bunch of people, yeah. I hope they don't think I'm trying to steal all the attention, because I'm not, it's, I mean... 
I just don't know what happened yesterday. I really... If you'd have opened the door, I would have run out yesterday, but I'm glad you never. Coming up, Frenchie tears it up. Piece of shit. And it's all out war. I didn't do nothing with the food. I, I saw to... you. I you was stinking French slut. <laughs> Ten thirty-three a.m. Frenchie has revenge on her mind. That's where my good memories have food for. I know where everybody's stuff is. Piece of shit. By the pool, some of the housemates are talking about accents. But you've got an accent. What? <laughs> I don't have an accent. You, you do. do. Accent. You don't speak the Queen's English. <laughs> I never met the That's Queen, so how am I going to speak her English? <laughs> All of them. We were told not to wash up. Dee told us not to wash up. What do we have left to eat? Really gonna starve now. Put lemon in there. Yeah, do you want? Yeah, go on and help yourself. You gonna yourself. put it in or not? No, 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 no. I just squeeze it in because I know. That's... Has anyone got know where the honey is? Yeah, it's uh, in the in the storeroom. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if honey affects the body the same as sugar. Who's done this? They're throwing all the spaghetti and rice on the floor. That she's just done that. What's wrong with her? No. Look what she did. Look. Look what she did. That's an inexcusable. She's thrown all the food on the floor. We've got to, we got to have it. We got to have a group meeting. Yeah. We have to have a group meeting. Yeah. What? Frenchie yeah. just took all of our food and threw it in the floor. What? what? Come look. Who did? Fr Fran Frenchie. <laughs> oh, we ain't got that. It's a Frenchie show. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> oh, here we go. The game is on. <laughs> but she's thrown it all on the floor. Stamps on it. Yeah, what a bitch. Like, what an absolute bitch. What she's done. Excuse Gary. Oh, did she? She's a nutcase. <laughs> oh, I said that. I said that. You think so? Yeah, I do think so, Gary. I do think so. God. Frenchie, why have you thrown all the food on the floor? You are one sick bitch. I didn't bitch. do anything. I was in the bathroom. You're a sick bitch. I saw. I didn't do anything. I saw. I was in the bathroom. You're a sick, sick bitch. I, I was in the bathroom doing my makeup. Frenchie, I have I no idea what she's talking about. I saw you. I have no idea what she's talking about. I was in the bathroom doing my makeup. Darling. I have no idea what he's talking about. God, you're so about. pathetic. What a sad, sad excuse for a human being. I don't know what happened to you as a child. My life was fabulous. Yeah, and you had Meg. I grew up with Meg. No, honey, you're trash. You're white trash that sells your pussy and Good. sells your titties. Actually, I don't need to fuck somebody to take money from them, and that's called talent, because everybody has fucked people to get something. You're out. And you have a sugar daddy, I believe, so you better not we take not take. Hey, guys, we stripper. can't take this. She and is destroying you. all of our she food. I didn't do nothing with the food. I, I saw to. you. I you was in the bathroom. You stinking French slut. I was in the bathroom. I, I no saw idea you. You walked out the door and no, I knew I what you were up to. I and was I in heard the bathroom. You. And I... Come on, because I don't want you to look bad. Come on. What is he talking about? Is, is the food all over the floor? Did you put it there? I have no idea. I was in the bathroom, babe. That's what I'm, I'm going to shit in her makeup case. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm there with you. Mate, listen, listen, listen. As soon as I need to push one out, you go get it, mate. I'll shit in it. Oh, whatever. See, I have some acting skill. Frenchy, mate. I was in the bathroom doing my makeup. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard the bang. You know she did. She, she started a war. Oh, <laughs> Frenchie, Frenchie, you want to start a war? Babe, 
Babe, did you do that? No, I didn't. So how did it get all over the floor just I after no you came idea. out? Come Where's on. your makeup, That's honey? like the only food we have. I don't care about my stuff. I have thousands of dollars. I can buy another one. I really don't care about money. No, I'll get in trouble. I'm out. I'm out. I'm Sweden. Hey! Did you do that? No. Why does he think you did? I have no idea. They've been picking on me yesterday, well, he said this you came, morning. He said he heard a bang and you came out of there. Leslie, I've been picking on me for no reason for the past three days. I hope he did do it. No, I'm telling you, he's crazy. He's lying. Oh, man. What is that? They're my um, $100 Josh A. Banks underwear that she took scissors to. <gasps> you did that? Oh, yeah. That's what. Well, well she's fun. See, this. Well, no, this is. My boyfriend right. bought me these. If I throw all her stuff in the pool. Because you're, you're as low as her, so you're That's not it. doing that. What else has been ripped up? Don't look. She's after us. She's cutting shit. That's stupid. She cuts any of my stuff up. I fucking. If she cuts any of my clothes, she's gone. Yeah. I mean, literally. There we go. No. Frenchie. And listen, these aren't rips, these are cuts. She's got something she's cutting with. Me? No! Vicar Varno, I too. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. I don't want to hear about your fucking sugar baby, thank you. Tit for a tat. Tit for a tat. Eleven twenty seven AM. Leslie and Gary are talking about Frenchie. That's a stark raving mad to the heart. And what scares me is it's not ribs. Betrayal. It's not ribs. It's c cuts with scissors. But see, she's really smart. There's no cameras in there. And she swears she didn't do it. But we heard well, her. She did it. We heard her. She swears she didn't do this. And there's no cameras in the she's, bathroom. She's lying. But I know why she targeted me. I, it's my temper. It was like me with you yesterday. It had nothing to do with you or me. It's me losing my temper and going nuts. And I haven't done it in 18 years since I got sober. I can count on my fingers the way I screamed at you yesterday five times in 18 years. And since I've been in this house, three. <laughs> In the pod, Edel is talking to Frenchie about her behaviour. You just need to be a bit more mindful. Like, if you'd have said to me in the bed last night, OK, guys, I'm trying to actually sleep here, I'd have gone, OK. I'd have taken it on board and went, shit, you're right, and tried to quieten down. Right, 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 Whereas right. Whereas someone right. says it to you and go, can you be quiet with them zips? And you go, what? I can be loud if I want to. And you take over the whole room, wake up everyone and piss everyone off. Then people get pissed off at you, and then you get upset and go, why are you all pissed off at me? Why me? And it's like, because you put it there. Because you just thrash it out at everyone. Because I got pissed off because James told me not to do noise. Yeah, I know. But we're all going to tell each other I was that already times. not doing noise compared to what they did yeah. when you guys went to sleep. Yeah, I understand. But no, rather than comparing it, just keep it in the moment and go, fair enough, he must be annoyed with the noise I'm making and go, sorry, change it. Because now you're starting to fight with everybody. And what's the point? Do you know what I mean? George is talking about Frenchie in the bedrooms. If she starts distracting people's property in that club, turn around and go, here, give her a paycheck, and all they'll have on it is a fucking standard plane ticket back to America. Turn around and go, fuck you, I don't want her back in America. Pardon? I don't want her back in America. We don't um, want her here. Well, tell her to go back to France. Big Brother has called Frenchie to the diary room. Frenchie, before you entered the Big Brother house, the rules regarding unacceptable behaviour were explained to you. Earlier, after a row with Leslie, you kicked your leg out as if to strike him. Although you didn't make contact with him, this is threatening behaviour. The house rules state that Big Brother will intervene and may remove a housemate if they threaten or use physical violence or behave in a way that could cause serious offence to any other housemate or to the viewing public. Do you understand yes, that yes. threatening to hit or kick another housemate is unacceptable behaviour and that cutting up their clothing is also unacceptable? No, we don't have things. The clothing was like really bad. I do understand the, of course, the fighting and everything. I read that. 
Uh, I don't remember, like, it's, like, it's, like, I don't know, I was so mad at him. So that's why I did this. I apologize, I didn't, I don't know. I think I just had, a, like, a, I just freaked out, I had a mental breakdown. Frenchie, can you assure Big Brother that you will not be cutting up any of your other housemates' clothing? Oh, yes, I assure you. Eleven fifty-eight a.m. Some of the housemates are playing charades in the garden. What? Movie. What? Two words. Three words. First. Two words. Word. One word. First word. First word. Oh. oh. <laughs> Me. Everywhere. I don't think it was Elvia. Mirror? <laughs> Two words. Two words. The second, second word. word. Break. <laughs> it's something break, Gary. It's a movie and it's something break. And we are... Point break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God! That was my own picture. <laughs> Big Brother has called Leslie to the diary room. If this isn't unacceptable behavior, I'd like to know what is. Can I get some assurances from Big Brother that I don't have to be afraid that I'm going to get stabbed? Leslie, Big Brother can assure you that Big Brother looks after all their housemates. Big Brother has spoken to Frenchie spoken? about her behavior. She's gotta go. That's spoken. My life is in danger here. Leslie, Big Brother has taken appropriate action. Okay. Big Brother has spoken to Frenchie about her behavior and Big Brother does also need to have a word with you about yours. Okay. Before you entered the Big Brother house, the rules regarding unacceptable behaviour were explained to you. Right. Earlier, as you know, after a row with Frenchie, you raised your arm as if to strike her. Right. Although you didn't make contact with her, this is threatening behaviour. Okay. Do you understand that threatening another housemate in the way that you did is unacceptable? Oh yes, I do. Big Brother does not tolerate threatening behaviour from any housemate. Okay. You won't see me raise my voice and you won't see me raise my hand to anyone else in this home. Twelve fifty six PM Frenchie has something to say to her fellow housemates. Thank you. Can I talk to you when you have a second? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, okay. Frenchie, you'd like to raise me. I just wanna say sorry guys I freak out. In the bedroom, Leslie is feeling emotional. You know, I, they fly me all over the country, which I stand at podiums, and I say to fellow alcoholics, we cannot afford even righteous anger. As an alcoholic, you have to, you know, I, I, and here I am going against everything that I teach, everything that I stand for. You know, you've got to do what you say. Can we go, can we go up to the pod and talk? Yes, absolutely. whenever you're ready, no question. Let's go. Okay. And I'm uh, sorry, guys, I freak out earlier in the storage room. I know you did. But, like, I, I never break down like that. Like, that's not normal. No. So I just want to say I'm sorry. Are you apologizing because you were told to apologize? No, because they make me understood, like, no, no, no. No, not just because I was told. I don't want you to apologize because somebody no, has no, told no, you no, 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 no. to apologize. It's very different. Yes, That it for is. me is not an apology. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I want you to realize what you did. Yeah, I did. Then say sorry. Then I accept your apology. Right, I just say I freak out. Like, yeah. that's not normal. I did that. I basically don't fine, do that then. in everyday life. Okay, go. Okay, sorry. No, I'm going to have to go to sleep. But he did break down yesterday for no reason. Yeah. I'm not judging. I'm just no. saying. So yeah. I think it's just like, Yeah, okay. Know, okay. Hopefully it's not everyone do breaking down the... 
But you know what I mean? I, I, I've seen it before in so many different circumstances where people were made to apologise. Made to apologise, yeah. I don't accept that. I'm kind of like you in a mental state. I'm very fragile right now. You know like you were yesterday? I'm kind of like that. Um, I would like to tell you the first thing, like, would you like me to pay, buy you another one? Mm -hmm. It was not, it's just that? underpants. It was the sentimental value that... I know. Oh, my God, okay. He bought them for me. Oh, your wife. I'm so sorry. I really did freak out. I had a mental breakdown, and technically because, like, the way I was feeling is, like, I really like you, like, a lot since day one. And, you know, like... I, I, called, I think we didn't I communicate called, when the no, time no, no. was... I called you a whore. I called That's you, what I mean, I was so mad. I, I, my, my biggest character defect is that when I lose my temper, I have this inability to edit. It, it's like you're saying, I just go nuts. Me too. I say things and I'm... That's not me. I know. That's not me what I just did to you mm -hmm. at all. I wouldn't do that, like, you know, normally. I attacked you. And I'm revenge, so I was like, I'm gonna fuck a police shit. <laughs> That's just like how I am. But I didn't know it was like really, really like a big deal because we are here, I think. This is an intense environment, you know. We've been asked to put up with a lot. Right, that's why I'm not doing stuff just, I would do normally. Just like you live alone, I live alone. Yeah. I sleep 10 hours a night. You sleep well, I think we're the same for that. That's why we both, we both break down. Another hug and then yeah. I'm gonna go. Okay, baby. I'm sorry. Okay. Coming up, Leslie has a decision to make. You must now decide which of your fellow housemates <laughs> are the least entertaining. <laughs> Leslie, who who's been mean to you, Leslie? <laughs> and Gary and Frenchie settle in. We're on a celebrity scratch heaps. Celebrity scratch heaps. That's what he said about Crouch heap. You're not cutting your sense. <laughs> Ten twenty p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates on the sofas. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates, tonight there will be no eviction. Oh, oh, but, but, but. But. Instead, the public have been voting for who they think oh. is the star of the show, the Ooh, most entertaining housemate. Big Brother can now reveal that the housemate who the public has voted as the star of the show we is... Gary. Leslie. Celebrity scrap heap. Outside is a scrap heap where celebrities who are not entertaining enough go to take a long, hard look at themselves. Oh. Two celebrities are about to be downgraded. Two celebrities. They will spend their entire day on the scrap heap. Oh, I can't do that. Leslie, you must now decide which of your fellow housemates are the least entertaining. You oh have 30 God. seconds to decide on which two housemates to send to the celebrity scrap heap. Don't think about it, just go for it. David, 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 David wanna go. David wanna go. I David says. Leslie, I've been with you all the time. Leslie, who who's been mean to you, Leslie? <laughs> Leslie, reveal your first housemate. Leslie, 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 I'll do it. No. Yeah, I'll do it. No, it's not like that. It doesn't matter. Yes. Will you go? <laughs> You know I cannot go, I'm lucky. You Leslie, go. you must what? make your decision like now. Sure, sure. Frenchie don't and don't Gary. You know I'm gonna be <laughs> Leslie! <laughs> no. I've got, I got two knees that are out. Compound like fracture. Like Frenchie, I've had brain up. surgery. I'm not going outside. Okay. There's no way I can. Leslie, I explain will. why you chose Frenchie. <sighs> Just go ahead. It's all no, no, no. Spit it out. Everyone has been so kind to me and so loving, and I've only had a fracas with two. So yeah, how do fair. I choose? To cut up my underwear. And it wasn't. Jesus, <laughs> Gary. Gary, stand up. <laughs> Leslie, explain why you chose Gary. 
once again, everyone has been so welcoming and sweet. And from day one, I didn't feel that. Now I do. We've, we've apologized. Yeah. You um, have, and I've accepted it. He apologized, and I accepted <clears throat> it. But how can I pick someone who's cooked for me and loved me? And I've helped you. <laughs> well, not like the others have. Well, I've helped you the best Fred, way I could at the time. Well, I know, but how do you pick? Frenchie what? and Gary, Leslie has chosen you as the two least entertaining housemates. Okay. <laughs> There's one more thing, housemates. Oh, Whoever ends up on the celebrity scrap heap also I can't, faces I can't eviction. Sleep out there. We'll talk to more you. will join Frenchie and Gary oh, over the coming days. No. <laughs> and they're very understanding if you're free. Slack time. Oh my God. But don't, don't blame Leslie. No, 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 listen, honey. Woo. He just said to me. I'm with you. So let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, if you look, that's perfect. That's a princess stuff. I want to go now. <laughs> 10.38 p.m. Gary and Frenchie have been on the celebrity scrap heap for the past 12 minutes. Oh my God, I have to put clothes on again. What a nightmare. I'm really upset. It is not even pink. Well, at least the two freakos are in there together. I'm, I'm just as scared of her as I am him. At least my underwear is going to be all right tonight, though. <laughs> They're the only two people that have kicked up a fuss and made the house Everyone uncomfortable. Else unhappy, yeah. Leslie could have said your names before you even knew about the eviction parts. Yeah. So you'd have been yeah. up for eviction anyway. Yeah. yeah. That, that would have That's the thing. Up. But credit to him for sticking to his guns. Yeah. And he right. said no. Too right, Leslie. Yeah. Yeah. The house is happy. The house is happy. Eleven thirty p.m. Big Brother has thrown star of the show Leslie a party. <laughs> There's no business like show business. The rest of the housemates are unaware that tonight Leslie must select one more celebrity to send to the scrap heap. It's not great. It's not great. What did James do? He shook his head. What the fuck did that mean? What? <laughs> it's amazing that he chose me to come out here. We both had an argument what? with him. Do you remember? No, he argued with me, and then okay. he asked for forgiveness. I had nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> We're sitting here on the, what's it called? We're on the Celebrity Scratch. Celebrated what? Scratch. You're not scratch. making sense. I'm just reading what I see. <laughs> celebrity Scratch Eeps, that's what he said. About scratch Eep? That didn't make sense. Oh, at least I can't read it properly from you. Can you read my lips? No, I can't understand you. Oh. Coming up, Kelly's had enough. I'd like to go home, please. If you think I'm going to keep putting myself on highs and lows to give you entertainment value, you've got another thing coming. And Audley and GM square up. I'm not scared of you, mate. You I don't give you, I don't give me. this. We'll do it. Oh, oh, we'll we'll do it. Twelve forty-seven a.m. Big Brother has called the star of the show to the diary room. Hello, Leslie. Hello. Earlier, Big Brother told you that you had one hour to decide the name of the third housemate who deserves to be sent to the scrap heap. Have you made a decision? I have. Leslie, who is the least entertaining housemate you would like to send to the celebrity scrap heap? I told him. The least entertaining housemate is Kelly. Kelly is not here for our entertainment. Kelly Pele. has made the most courageous decision that I think a human being can make. Why are you being silly? Oh, wait, listen, he's doing a good speech, Kelly. Listen please, to please. this, Kelly. G 
James and David did offer to come here instead of us. Very and nice. this decision has involved a lot of thought. And I think it was Kelly's desire to come on this show to say, look, this is who I am and this is what I'm about. And I think that her mission is done. She didn't need that. I, think she's I don't awesome want to do it. her in any way to become any kind of figure of ridicule. I've learned more about courage really from this nice woman is, yeah. in three days than so my entire nice life. Things. We've talked in depth. She should be listening. Tell her to listen. Yeah, I know. She, she had a problem like... Um, oh, Kelly, all right. Is she Kelly. supposed to be there? Did Kelly, she Kelly, 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 are you okay? Yeah. I think she can listen to him though, he's been... No, I just want to get out of here. I don't want you to. Yeah, well... Come on, Kel. Come on, just... No, I've been picked to go to the scrap heap, yeah, so no, that's I it. Yeah, but it's... it's oh, but that's what it is. It's she part and parcel of, obviously, it, it, he doesn't mean it in a bad way. Well, I'm not bothered, I'm just here now, so I can get out tomorrow. No, I don't want you to, though. Well, yeah, I do. I think they just punish her, that's why she's mm. here. She just got punished like we did, that's why she's Who got punished? Kylie, probably, because they did the a game inside. Stop. Who got... It's not punishment. Well, Wait. I mean, no, she got told to come yeah, outside. Yeah, we got. For what reason? I have no idea for what reason. And it was a tough decision, man, and you, and you tried to explain it as best you could, and I think they understood. It was a tough decision. Yeah, I did try to explain it. We heard we could hear you explaining why... Kelly did that. Kelly, Kelly walked out. Kelly walked out. Yeah, but listen, <laughs> Kelly should listen to what you said after was beautiful. Kelly should have heard it. Really she she, she, she didn't hear she it. Needs to, yeah. oh, I'll tell her. Did you hear the stipulation? No, yes, I'll tell her I went and spoke to her. I said, oh, look, he's, he's actually, he doesn't mean it in a bad way whatsoever. There might be one more person tonight. Is that Kelly? I'm not on that one. Is Kelly out there? Yeah. yeah. On the floor. She went straight into the thing. Oh, right. okay. Oh, my God. This is beyond anything I've ever been through. One forty-four a.m. It's been less than an hour since Leslie chose Kelly to be the third celebrity on the scrap heap. She, she apparently, I didn't realize that they were listening. Not that I would have changed anything, but I thought I gave a lovely speech about my reasonings. But apparently what happened was she stormed out the minute I said the least entertaining is Kelly. Anyway, I love her most of all. Out of the whole, out of all our housemates, I love Kelly the most of all. Wasn't me. We just put it out by the feet. It wasn't like me. Recycling, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, You're Kelly, right, honey. You okay, Kelly? Yeah. It's not gonna go on. So. Kelly, don't take it personally. I'm not taking it personally. Just... Hey, don't be upset. Don't wave your finger at me. Please. Don't wave your finger at me. Don't be angry. I'm not angry, but... You are not here for our entertainment. You didn't hear the whole hey, interview. Don't be a smart I've learned ass, more. Yeah. I've learned more about... Don't you be a smart ass with me. I've learned more about take courage. Your hand, take your hands off me. Oh, I don't, don't need be you. angry with each other. you didn't hear my speech. I don't give a speech. shit about your speech because you're a little queen that tries to come this to the track. Okay? You can come to the dining room. You, point, you, you point told me, me you to point a point. You, you, point you, point you, you point told me to a point. You point, point, you point, you point, point. Me. Listen, listen, okay? Oh. Hello, Kelly. Hello. I'd like to go home, please. What happened then? <laughs> what happened then? Did she swear at you? Huh? Did she swear at you? Yeah. Why? She said, I'm a little queen who demands all the attention. I can't win. See, that's fucking win. ridiculous. The house is full of a bunch of fucking knobs, man. If you think I'm going to keep putting myself on highs and lows to give you entertainment value, you've got another thing coming. I picked myself up off the floor from yesterday. I'm trying really hard to protect a nope. 
close. <laughs> Big Brother wants you to know that you've been managing this experience incredibly well. The Big Brother doesn't want you to make a rash decision. George and GMs are winding oddly up about his boxing career. Oh, you got to oh, do that's a bit. Oh, you got to get around the garden for a minute and a bit. Run around the garden. Run around the garden. 73 seconds. <laughs> no, I'm serious now. You're now. Now you're taking a piss. Now it's disrespectful. No, I'm serious. Listen. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's joking. No, 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 he's joking. No, I know him. I'm not joking. Listen to me. I'm going to say this to you once more, right? I'm serious now because I'm not dealing with kids. I'm dealing with adults. I did say all and I've told you, if you take the piss out of me, you're going to see a response. Have I taken the kids. piss out of you? No, when you're saying 79 seconds, I'm like, you are taking the piss, yeah. You think so? Yeah, I do. I do take you? it. I yeah, no, it's a serious. joke. But then when I, I see this, when you take to a certain level, then it's do, disrespectful. Are you being serious? I'm, I'm being very serious. Are you being really serious? Yeah, I am. He's being serious. Because it's disrespectful. Okay, first of all. And I'm taking it as okay, a so and, and if oh. I tell you something that's being disrespectful, then you say, you know what? Don't point your hands at me. No, I'm pointing your hands at you because you're being disrespectful. Really? Yeah, I'm telling you that. So you should say, you know what? I acknowledge it and we move on. I acknowledge it. So don't do it again. Don't shout at me, mate. I'm shouting at you. Well, I'll do what I want, mate. Well, do it again and see what happens. What are you going to do? Well, do it and see. Well, Why what? don't call Zinard? Well, do it and see then. I'm not scared of you, mate. You I don't might give be able you, to beat me. Well, do it then. We'll do it. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's say it then. Let's say it. No, no, no. Say it. No, what I'm saying is... No, don't say nothing. Say it. James, trust me. I told you nice and respectfully. I said, don't call me again. And if you do... I that's said to you about the same. You said about but 79 seconds. No, you Lads. said 10 yeah, I said, what? Leave that alone. And I said it to you nicely. Mate, I said, you, leave it alone. you even said that you found that funny. Yeah, but there's a point. Oh, well, where where is the point? The point stopped. I told you. No, I told you the point stopped. When did you need to stop. When did you say that? All right, I'm going to say it from now. Stop. Lee go to the bedroom. Is mate, that fair? Listen, is that I'm fair? I have no beef with you. Okay, mate. but I'm don't. If you, if I tell you that you're disrespecting me now, you need to leave it alone. Is I'm, that fair? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Come on, come oh, around. We'll leave it. Brother, if he's offended by it, we'll leave it. Bedroom, it yeah, was a joke in the first place. Well, so it was we'll supposed it. to be a joke. Well, we'll leave it. Well, we should shake hands. He ain't got no arm. In I'll it. shake his hand if he wants to shake my hand. Oddly, shake her hand. Come on, it was a joke. Seriously. Yeah, I know, but I said to you, it's over. Well, if you don't want it to happen again, mate, it listen, won't happen again. I have no beef with you, but no one thing, mate. I'm not scared of you. It's not about scared. It's, it's about, about it's about disrespectful. Yeah, but you I understand? want you to know that. Whether you're scared or not, there'd be a consequence. And that's fine. And, leave and what I'm there. saying is, that's fine. I won't say it ever again, mate. Okay. Because I was doing it as a joke. Okay. But all but, I want you to know is, don't over. threaten me, because I ain't fucking scared of you. It doesn't. You don't need to be scared. I'm not scared. But but whether you're scared or not, but what I'm saying is, I'm joking. I'm joking with you, and you're getting all funny because of what? That's what I'm saying. All you have to do is to come, come up James, to me. You're not, no, but you're not dumb. No, but you're listen, not dumb. You're not dumb. If you go to me, you're intelligent. I'm an intelligent man. Well, all then, you have so to take on board what so I'm saying. So then, what you should do, what I would do to you. This is Big Brother. Listen, I'll just listen one second. I'll go to the bedroom. No, no, I'm not. They're asking me to go to the bedroom. Did you hear Leslie's reasons as to why? Do you think I believe that? I'm not entertaining. I've tried very hard to be entertaining. If anyone, I was much in it. I carried him when we were doing that agency work. You know that and I know that. Kelly, do you think there's any chance that Leslie could have been doing that to try and protect you? I don't need protection, I can look after myself. I don't think you know how strong I am and how strong-willed I am. I will last it out till Monday. So Kelly, do you feel ready to return to the house? Yeah, I just want to go to bed, please. Kelly, you are free to return to the house. Thank you. Up next, it's Rob Bryden live. And tune in for Bit on the Psych at 10 past midnight with Rylan, Ian Lee and Louisa Zisman. They're joined by psychological experts Rachel Morris and Judy James, plus award-winning journalist Patrick Strudwick.